Hi folks, welcome back to the Cannabis Corner. I'm your host, Kerry Burns, and I'd like to start out by giving a hip hip hoorah to Mr. Ron Paul, Dr. Ron Paul, for his fantastic second place finish there in the New Hampshire primary, uh, registering more votes collectively than Gingrich, Perry, and Santorum all together. They didn't get as many as Ron Paul, so that should be telling people something, but uh, this is really not surprising. And when you I want to uh, to talk a little bit tonight about how some of these candidates are just so disconnected, not only with America and what the American people want, but just the fact that they don't know certain things that you would think they would know. Uh, take Newt Gingrich, Mr. Historian and all that. I mean, he, he personally came out in one of his interviews the other day and said that uh, he thought that Washington and Jefferson would deal with pot smokers a whole lot more harshly and violently than we do, than the DEA is dealing with them now. And uh, Mr. Historian, in, in case you didn't know it, and I'm sure you found out by now, but uh, Washington and Jefferson were some of the biggest hemp farmers uh, back in the colonial days. They both used cannabis. They both smoked cannabis resin or hashish. And uh, so, Mr. Gingrich, uh, your comments about uh, you were worried about it leading to more dependency. Well, guess what, Mr. Gingrich, in case you didn't know this fact too, cannabis is not addictive and it doesn't lead to dependency like alcohol or cigarettes that are legal or prescription drugs that are legal through a doctor. So when you start to put yourself out there, especially in the public's eye that you're trying to get votes from, you know, it'd be nice if you, you know, had some accurate information and your comments about Ron Paul being historically one of uh, quoting things inaccurately and, and telling a whole list of lies. I mean, honestly, Mr. Gingrich, can you really uh, say that? I mean, honestly, about your, your comments, I mean, just shows how dumb you are and how disconnected you are with the American people. The latest polls show that 70% of the people polled not only favor legalization of marijuana, 75% favor legalization for medical marijuana, but 70% are in favor of outright legalization of cannabis and that people shouldn't be being arrested for it. Our other front runner there, Mitt Romney, he was asked the other day about industrial hemp and all, and he had no idea what it was. I mean, this is such a big part of our founding fathers in the early colonial periods and all. It was one of the main uh, agricultural textile products back then, and the fact that Mitt Romney knows absolutely nothing about it, I mean, do, do y'all really want to elect a candidate that that's that that's that disconnected and that removed from the people? I mean, honestly, I mean, there are plenty of people out there that don't smoke cannabis, but I think if you ask them about what industrial hemp was and all, I believe they'd be able to tell you that it was a, a textile that came from the cannabis plant or the cannabis uh, uh, herb. And uh, so, Mr. Romney, I've, I'm really uh, worried about you and those kind of comments and and it just goes to show you that the one candidate, not only that stands for the freedom of liberties, your freedom and right to choose to use cannabis and all, Ron Paul, but he definitely is connected with the people and the Constitution. And I can't say that about any of the others uh, at all. I mean, I, I don't see anything in any of their speeches that's not just a hybrid of what Obama and Bush and the ones prior to him all were doing. They, the candidates other than Ron Paul, this is what they're push, pushing out there. It's just a repeat of what we, what screwed this country up and all. And when you start looking at individual liberties and your right to use cannabis and all, this is what why the Founding Fathers wrote our Constitution. This is what, what they were talking about, is that that's what makes America unique, is the fact that we have these individual liberties and all. And to be that disconnected where you don't know what the hemp industry is or your comments about you don't think marijuana should be legal because the people don't want it or there's a dependency on there or that the European models didn't work. Mr. Gingrich, uh, I got news for you. When they legalized cannabis for use in Holland and in Portugal, the crime rate dropped 95% in both of those countries. So your comments are inaccurate, they're false, they're not true, they're not founded by anything, and it's just something you threw out there because your conservative party that's backing you are a bunch of pothead haters. And 
The reason y'all are is because y'all are probably the ones that are connected with the DEA and the government that's making the money off cannabis being illegal and the judicial system and all that, all the crooked lawyers and judges all the way through. I mean, that's all anyone can think. Pot smokers have known this for four or five decades now. They've known that that it wasn't uh, something detrimental. They knew that it was something that was... You know, a basic right. Of, you know, you allow people to smoke cigarettes. My God, why are you worried about them taking anything else on the planet? I just, I don't get that. And the fact that y'all are that disconnected with the, what the wishes of the American people want and all, it just really blows my mind. But fortunately, I think the tide is turning. People are realizing that Ron Paul is for real, that his message is for real, that it does want to get this government back to following the Constitution and legalizing the hemp industry. I mean, my God, what candidate out there really would not want hemp legal? Honestly, when you look at the fact that we could free ourselves from this foreign oil that we have to bring into this country, almost 20 million barrels a day, we could grow all of that on land, on less land than what we spend and grow for for food crops right now. We could grow it on half of that amount and we could supply ourselves enough fuel here that fuel costs would be a dollar a gallon, not three fifty a gallon like they currently are. And also too, the violence that the Drug Enforcement Agency and all these laws against cannabis and the war on drugs cause, all the deaths that are going on south of the border, all of that, that really is a much brighter picture for you for America than having these substances outright legal and where the crime and the gangs don't exist. I mean, if you, you talk about a disconnect with the American people, this is what the American people are trying to tell y'all. This is why they favor drug legalization and legalization of cannabis and all. It's because they're sick and tired of this hard-pressing government that all y'all talk about is uh, how cannabis is dangerous and it's a narcotic and it's drugs and, and all that. And y'all are just so disconnected from the truth. You're just so disconnected from the truth. And and hopefully, if you listen to Ron Paul yourselves, maybe some of his ideas will start to rub off on you. I just hope that uh, you're way out of the picture before that happens because I don't believe that any of you are anything except what we've already had in this country, and that's just ultimate failure, uh, chastising our liberties and just th throwing our Constitution in the trash. Ron Paul is the only candidate that is out there. He's going. He wants to cut spending. He wants to get rid of this huge government that's ballooned up, this huge Justice Department, this imbalance in the the crim what they arrest people for smoking marijuana and possession of marijuana the millions of people that they put in jail and their lives ruined just because they decided to use a safe herb over something like alcohol which kills around 750,000 people with cigarettes every year i mean get real you people really y'all need to step back and look at some of the things you're saying and all because you're just absolutely so disconnected and you're so far from the truth and so far from reality it just it I, I wonder where, what planet are y'all living on? In the last five decades, that's what has been going on in this country and all. It's been plain to say, I mean, here, here we have a study by the University of Alabama that just came out the other day, it said that they, they, not only did they reinforce the statistics about how dangerous cigarettes are and that what the lung, lung conditions it causes and the problems and COPD and all that from long-term use and not to mention lung cancer and death and all, but they, backed up the studies that were done out in Berkeley that showed that cannabis did not cause lung cancer. And in fact, the Birmingham study, the University of Alabama in Birmingham, not only showed that it did not cause lung problems or lung dysfunction, but it actually improved the amount of airflow and air capacity in the lungs with small amounts of marijuana use. Now, come on people, you can't say that about cigarettes. Long-term cannab cannabis use does not cause a dysfunction in your lungs. It does not cause lung cancer like cigarettes and all. So there's you another one that y'all can throw right out the door along with it, making you sterile, along with it making you not be able to graduate from school. I mean, all the lies that just keep going on and on and on and on and on. Y'all thinking more and more and more of them. And just as like this study with the University of Alabama and the at Birmingham there and all that showed that cannabis is safe to smoke and doesn't cause lung cancer. Now I'm sure there'll be something else that y'all got to put out there. What is it going to take, America? We're, I'm mainly talking to the people out there that don't smoke cannabis, that have been brainwashed with all these damn lies for so long. 
it's time to start peeling those layers back and really get the facts, look at the truth and all, because what you've been being fed is absolute lies. And this violence, this cartel violence and stuff that's going on across the border is just absolutely absurd. The, the fact that we would stand back and allow these people be, to be murdered just so a cartel can bring the crappy marijuana that they're bringing across the border, it's not even worth smoking. I can't even believe the extremes that we go to and the amount of money we spend, the DEA, the Homeland Security, Border Patrol, all that, to stop the cannabis that's coming across the border. It's absolutely worthless. And these cartels, not only is the cannabis, they they have for, for so long been so inconsistent in their growing practices that they've they've crossed these with all these inferior varieties and the really good varieties of Mexican cannabis that used to come across from the border from Oaxaca and Guerrero and places like that where the where really was back in the day in the early 70s was actually fairly decent cannabis to smoke nowadays is nothing but bunk and to make matters worse the cartel is trashing these supplies that they're bringing over they're just throwing stems in there seeds seeds of god knows what sticks stems you name it i mean when you look at the average amount of cannabis when you buy it from somebody that's gone through the cartel and basically they're the anything coming from Mexico and all is pretty much coming from the cartel and you look at it and all and you separate it out and all about 25 percent of that is trash I mean just absolute trash that you might as well throw it in the mulch pile that's all the good it's going to do this is a perfect reason why Americans should be allowed to grow their own and to not have to pay these exorbitant prices for this crap that's coming across the border. It doesn't even get you high. It's not even if that's all your only purpose of using it is to get stoned. You're it's it's doing it's it's piss poor at best at even doing that. But this is where the ignorance about this subject is just so ballooned out and so overwhelming. And people like Mitt Romney and Newt Gingrich and all they they. They are smack dab right in the middle of the ignorance and, and the, talking about missing an action and not knowing the facts and all. What needs to happen in this country is outright legalization, no laws whatsoever, have the states control it like they do alcohol, put an age limit on it. People want to grow their own. Of course they should be able to. You don't tell them they can't grow tomatoes in their garden or other herbs and all. It's absolutely ridiculous to tell them they can't. They could produce a safer, one that's not sprayed on, God knows what the cartel's doing. For all we know, they might be excrementing on it, using the bathroom on it, having sex on it, putting dangerous chemicals on it, mixing dangerous pharmaceuticals with it to enhance the high since their marijuana is so crappy anymore. I mean, there's so many things that, that are going on that the cannabis smoker in the United States is having to put up with that most of you people out there don't even realize what's going on, You're it's particularly the people who don't use cannabis and all. And we really need to take a look at this and all. We're, we're really subject... It's bad enough that the government sprayed paraquat in the 70s when Nixon thought, oh, I'll, I'll show y'all, and he started spraying paraquat and all, and they knew that the American citizens were going to be the ones smoking that paraquat-laden cannabis coming from Mexico. Why do we have to put up with this? Why do we have to be subjected to this kind of stupidity? Why do we have to have people like Gingrich and Romney that are so disconnected with American people? How, how are they even allowed to run for office if you're that disconnected? You, you really need to look at the facts. You need to look at the European models and show how their legalization did make the crime rate go completely off the map. There are no gangs operating cannabis cartels in, in Amsterdam or Portugal, none at all. And if you made things legal here in this country, that's what we would see here. We would see these violence go away because this is what fuels these gangs is keeping these commodities illegal. And when you talk about cannabis, my God, it's never killed anybody, never sent anybody to the hospital. And the fact that we are holding up the hemp industry that could promote jobs, it could get us out of this economic doldrum that we're in. And the fact that y'all are so stupid, I want to put my hands around you. But Gingrich, Romney, and all of the rest of you, Santorum, I'm sure you are just like they are. Get with it. Get your facts right. Cannabis has never killed anyone. People in America want cannabis legal. They'd much rather have that than the violence, the murders, the gangs, 
all of that. Your jail's just overflowing with pot smokers and people in there for pot possession. And what does this do? This allows the rapists and the murderers and the burglars and the true criminals to do shorter times than they should be doing. How much clearer could it be, honestly? You don't even have to be smoking marijuana to enhance your thinking in your mind to see that. My suggestion is to you people, you really do need to smoke a little bit of cannabis. If you really are that dumb, if you really are that brainwashed and all, smoke a little bit of herb. It'll open your mind a little bit. It'll allow those brain cells to function a little bit better than they are doing obviously right now. And Gingrich and Romney, I encourage y'all to smoke it too, even though I really don't think it would help you. None of you. Y'all are so disconnected, I really don't even think that would help you. But it might be worth a try.